Hello friends, this is Deepak Sarma from Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube and in this lecture I will just discuss what is Rankine cycle okay, or vapor power cycle. So rank, first, let me first describe the schematic of Rankine cycle. Rankine cycle is also known as BTCP cycle. BTCP cycle here B stands for boiler, T stands for turbine, C stands for condenser and P stands for feed pump. Pump. Okay. So this is thermal power plant cycle, or this is also known as Rankine cycle. This is also known as BTCP cycle. Vapor power. Uh, vapor power cycle. Vapor power cycle. Vapor power cycle. Okay. First question: Why we call it as a vapor power cycle? We call it as a vapor power cycle because each and every phase each and every process of this cycle there is a phase change there is a phase change from liquid to vapor from vapor to liquid okay phase change is occur that's why we call it as a vapor power cycle but what happened in case of gas power cycle there is no phase change occur okay gas is no, uh, never turned into liquid so well, let me describe the schematic of ranking cycle. So, so this is our turbine, this is condenser, this is feed pump and this is boiler. By, con by connecting these four component in this, in this sequence, we draw the schematic of ranking cycle. So let me start from point one. Here at point one, high pressure, high pressure and temperature high pressure and temperature because from boiler we will get high pressure and temperature superheated vapor from boiler by providing it I will just, uh, I will just uh, discuss every point one by one but let me start from here from point one that at so let's say at point one we have a high pressure and temperature superheated vapor superheated vapor when this high pressure and temperature superheated vapor comes into the turbine and strikes the blade of turbine then the turbine blades rotates and due to rotation the shaft of the turbine is connected to a generator ok connected to a generator say generator ok shaft of the generator is rotated and electricity is produced that's why you call it as a power cycle so power is generated here so the, uh, when high pressure and temperature superheated vapor comes it strikes the blade of turbine turbine uh, shaft of the turbine rotates and by doing so this high pressure and temperature superheated vapor transform into wet steam wet steam this is superheated uh, steam and this by doing so this transform into wet steam when this wet steam is goes to condenser then what happen in condenser condenser we know as is used to condense this wet steam into liquid okay that's mean there is a heat rejection process take place there is heat rejection process take place qr suppose qr is a heat rejected okay so when this wet steam enters into condenser there will be heat rejection and by doing uh, after heat rejection or after pass uh, this wet steam passing through condenser this uh, this transform into liquid subcooled liquid so you can see it liquid okay then this liquid is sent to a feed pump and in feed pump we will have to provide work of wp so pump work we will have to provide pump work to pump this liquid up to a boiler pressure or up to a boiler okay and what happened in boiler in boiler we provide heat we add heat to make this subcooled liquid into superheated vapor and superheated steam that's mean at high, uh, high pressure and temperature steam okay so this is all about the schematic of ranking cycle let me draw it in ts plane so let me draw it into TS plane. This is T along Y axis. This is entropy along S X axis. Okay. 
this is vapor dome in TS plane and let me just put it here let me put it here to draw it say I'm starting from point one okay so this is high pressure and temperature so this suppose this is point one this is high pressure and temperature okay so there is a this is an I have forgot to mention in the schematic of this lecture that turbine is fully insulated from surrounding that is there is no heat loss there is no heat loss from surrounding okay sorry there is no heat loss from surrounding that's mean there is an adiabatic process reversible adiabatic reversible adiabatic process we have just taken it as a reversible adiabatic process that's why and and we know from basic thermodynamics concept that an reversible a reversible adiabatic process can be known as isentropic process so process 1 to 2 is an isentropic process then process 2 to 3 is a what heat rejection process that's mean it's occurred at a constant pressure and temperature that's mean it's move in this way okay so this is point 2 to 3 point 3 to 4 is a feed pump in general if a pump we generally choose centrifugal pump centrifugal pump so basically uh, 3 to 4 we are providing work to a liquid to pump it up to a boiler okay so this will be also a adiabatic process we also insulate it from surrounding so 3 to 4 is a feed, uh, feed pump work that we provide to a liquid and from 4 to 1 is a constant pressure process constant pressure process so you can see that what I have described in my schematic diagram that by following this schematic diagram I have drawn the ranking cycle ok so this uh, 2 to 3 2 to 3 represents heat rejection process process 4 to 1 4 to 1 that's we are adding, adding heat to a boiler that's mean this process represents in boiler okay and process 1 to 2 occurs in turbine turbine we are getting work from here that is turbine work and we are providing work here that is WP and this is heat addition process QA this is heat rejection process QR so if anyone will ask you from uh, if anyone ask you what is ranking cycle then you simply reply them that a, rank, a ranking cycle is a cycle which is constituted by an isentropic process then an heat rejection process then again an uh, heat rejection process then again an isentropic compression and uh, isobaric heat addition process ok any cycle which is constituted by this process we call it as ranking cycle ranking cycle so this is all about ranking cycle in my next lecture I will discuss I will discuss the effect of reheat and regenerative in the ranking cycle till now thank you and please do not forget to subscribe my channel which is fund of mechanical engineering on youtube thank you